good afternoon to all at MEM and particularly Ray W. Um, I thought I'd put together this uh, short video to try and explain how uh, the cores, um, particularly for cores that are free ended, work. So we found the patterns for our HR Robinson Chippy X type engine and we've got the two main outside patterns which are split and doweled for ease of uh, moulding so we'll move that one out of the way now there is the core box that creates the crank raceway which when uh, put together would obviously be doweled together rammed with sand Coarse sand, obviously, um, and then uh, depending on what coarse sand they're using, if it's gas bonded, bit of CO2 or air set, it would set. Uh, that's a, an air set core for our Robinson hot air engine, uh, one that we've had left over. Uh, that's been, that's years old and it's still remarkably good. So if you can imagine now, we've taken the thing out. So we've now got a sand core that's taken on the shape, this internal shape, and you can see what these uh, create. The inside is one that uh, that failed. <laughs> you see that? But you can see there. Look, the shape. Sorry, wrong half. creates the internal things for where the main bearings go and where the crank runs um, just to uh, so, oops I've got my earphone phone's tangled up there's the two halves of the core boxes that create the water jacket and the filler hole now what I was trying to get at Ray um, Print and peg are the same term effectively. So if you can see what what happens to your pattern, you make where that cavity is going to be a, a, a solid piece. So when this is in the mo in the moulding box, and then you were to remove this, you would have the cavity. Well, can you imagine now? where I've hatched those lines that corresponds to that bit up there and that is a tight fit once the two parts are together that width try and put them together there you go can you see that I'll put these two halves together. It's a fit. You'll also notice there's a just to make sure that the foundry guys don't get it wrong, we put a register on one side so that this thing affect this core that goes in, there's a register lip. There, can you see that? That ensures that they put the core in the right way round. You do get the odd mistake. <laughs> um, and then these, of course, are your core prints there and there to support. There's one core print and there's the big one. Same again, supports and becomes the, the, the same width. And my regard, comment regarding, there are the famous nails to hold the... Uh, through the split line they were they just poked in on this we used to have a little plate where you poke, poke the nails through a plate so they got it on the center line of the core um, and uh, you can see the other side of the the brad still sticking up there and uh, that was uh, <laughs> As I say, some, some guy tried to remove those with a claw hammer. Uh, tittle does all immensely. Um, 
but effectively that's that's how it works I hope that these few pictures speak volumes thanks for watching bye bye